Hi, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here with another PB&J card class. And today I'll be using some new stamps from Penny Black to do some snowy stamping and create some very easy to do watercolor scenes. So here's a look at the card that we will be creating today. I love these bright, whimsical colors for the sky. And I'll also show you some other cards using the same technique at the end of the video. To begin, I'm working on Canson 140 pound watercolor paper, and I just took some painter's tape and tore that along the edge to create my snowbank. Now off camera, I pat that tape along my pants a few times just to remove some of the stickiness so that it's easier to remove when I am finished. I'll be doing my painting mainly with the Sakura Koi watercolor field sketch box, but I'm also going to use just a couple colors of Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus watercolors, and I'll list those exact colors at the end of the video. So I'm starting off just by putting a whole layer of clean, clear water onto my background. This just makes it easy for the colors to move and blend into each other as I apply them. And what I love about by masking off that snow bank or the snow at the very bottom, really no matter what colors you put up above it, it's still going to read as snow. So you can be as crazy and um, as fun and whimsical as you want with the colors in your sky. You don't have to follow a typical sunset colors or sky colors. You can if you want, but you don't have to, to still have it look like it is a scene in nature. So I just keep adding the colors until I'm really happy with the look. And I sometimes swipe the paint on with the brush and sometimes I just pat my brush into the water and let the colors just move on their own. And then I'll alternate also by just picking up water on my brush and putting that onto the paper to help the colors move and blend even more. Up here at the top, I just wanted a lighter pink, so there I'm just applying water up at the top. And I just keep dropping in the color until I'm happy. You can paint a whole bunch of these at once, different backgrounds, different colors, and then do all of your stamping if you're working assembly line style, or you can do them one at a time like I did today. So you can let it air dry. I used a heat gun to speed up the process and now I'm using Penny Black's transparent set called Spread Cheer. And this set is really wonderful for this um, scenic stamping. There's lots of different images that all work well. And so I'm going to ink that up and I inked it up with a ink color that was similar to my background, just a little bit darker so that I get a tone on tone look. I'm using Ranger Archival ink in the color of Orange Blossom here. And I'm gonna stamp that just a few times along the base where the tape is, where it's masking off, and a couple times up it in the left hand corner just to create the look that it's a little bit taller up on that side. You could also layer these, so I kept things real simple, just use one image, one color, but you could layer your colors. You could now, you could add some more stamping on top in black and create um, some de more depth to your image. Now I'm going to add my snow. So I'm just taking the titanium white hydrous watercolor, putting it on my acrylic block, and then I'm going to add some water with my paintbrush and just splatter the background. Now typically I'll put this um, inside of a box when I go to splatter it just to avoid it splattering everywhere, but of course I couldn't capture that on camera so I just got real messy here. But if you want to protect your work surface, just set your piece in the bottom of an old empty box and splatter inside of there. If you don't though, by doing this with the watercolor paints, it is easy to clean up because they'll just wipe right up with a baby wipe. And you really instantly have a fun snowy scene. So I'm removing the tape, which is one of my favorite parts. <laughs> and now I'm going to add just a little bit of shadow along the ground line. So I'm just mixing up some colors from the field sketch box on the palette that's just off to the left. Sorry, it's off camera. I wanted a turquoise, kind of a grayish turquoise color for this shadow. So I put the color down right along the edge and then I come in with a, just a wet paintbrush to blend it down into the white. So I can get a transition from color and then keep the white towards the bottom of the card. While that's wet, you have time then you, if you want to darken it, you can drop in more color and just darken it up a little, which is what I'll do here in just a few spots. And then you can see I can go back with just water to blend that along the edge. And all I did to finish this was stamp a sentiment, add some twine and a die cut embellishment. Here's another sample using the exact same techniques, but this time I've used a tree from the set called Joy to All, which also has some really great images for this technique. This card 
with the the green trees the evergreen trees that also they are also from the spread cheer set the first set that I used and it's really fun to create sort of a wintry forest look and then finally I used the birds from that same set the spread cheer set and just stamp them up in the sky and I just love that look so simple so easy I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can also follow Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter, and visit our website, www.pennyblackink.com. And here's all the supplies used.